Hey, Howie. Hey, Sharon. Everybody here in Washington is talking about Aaron Sorkin's new HBO drama. Is it a pretty hot topic out there in Hollywood? Well, everybody, every journalist I know watched it, but nobody I've talked to seems to have liked it, I think, except for me. You called it in your review a talky and tedious send-up of TV news in a room full of self-obsessed blowhards. And that wasn't even the worst. I think the New Yorker talked about the show reeking of moral eczema. <laughs> and then the New York Times says that it, the show chokes on its own sanctimony. Why do, people, why do you guys hate the show so much? See, I was mild compared to those other ones. Exactly. Moral I really eczema. I wanted to like the news. I like Aaron Sorkin. I like, obviously, TV dramas about our business. Um, but I just felt like it was terrible TV, mostly these pompous characters, you know, not that there's any, not any pomposity in the news business, walk around this newsroom right. and they give these long-winded, self-righteous speeches. Nobody talks that way. It, oh, newsflash, Howie, it's, it's drama. It's televised drama. In the West Wing, I don't think that there's actually deep policy conversations as you go whizzing down corridors, as was happening in the West Wing, and Aaron Sorkin gripped us. I mean, television has to move, you know, and I, I, the reason, my problem with all of these, uh, with, with all the, these critiques is that Aaron Sorkin is daring to get to some of the really um, difficult issues at the heart of American journalism today. And we've both talked a lot about this. You, you write about it on a daily basis, uh, 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 the erosion of our values in television journalism and the problems that newspapers face with the collapse of our business model. He's diving right into those really core issues of what what is the role of journalism in American society, and I think I think that should be applauded. I, that, that's why I'm getting a little um, you know famished with all of this criticism. Well, nice try, but it just seems to me that it didn't really get to these great journalistic issues. In fact, half of the first episode was just about the crazy anchor Jeff Daniels and his uh, somewhat ball-busting ex-girlfriend at Playboy. And I have no sensitivity here. He wants to portray the cable TV news business as this snake pit to which he is going to shine the light of, of fine, upstanding journalism. That is great. But it has to work as television, and I think there's a reason that all the critics hated it. Not because they're hyper-thin-skinned journalists, it's because it just didn't quite work. Maybe it will get better. Well, I will say this. I mean, people who saw, as I think you did, saw the first two, three or four episodes have a different sense of where the show was going. I only got to see the first episode, and I thought the first episode was very good drama, very uh, gripping, and laid on the table all of the things that those of us who care about journalism care about, which is... Is uh, television, cable news journalism getting at the issues, or is it, it just a shout fest, right? And w what was that great line they have about um, the tyranny of stupid or the um, speaking truth to stupid, right? I, I mean, I think that that really is, is what it's about. And now, it's true that the Jeff Daniels character is going from bland to opinionated, so that's not like he's not jumping into the same snake pit as everybody else is. He's half crazy. He's half crazy. <laughs> Look, there's a plenty to criticize in cable news. It is too much of a shout fest. I think part of the deal here is that expectations were so high because it's Aaron Sorkin, because he's had this great success with the West Wing, with the social network. I, I'm sorry, I disagree. I, no, I think a wonderful I, show, and he, it's hard to live up to that. Howie, what Aaron's doing is he's daring to dabble in our sandbox. So of course we're the experts. We know best, and we're going to tell him everything that he's doing wrong about no newsrooms don't really work this way. No, this, no, we're, we're not this sanctimonious. No, we don't give speeches. We don't talk about Cervantes in the newsroom. We don't. But, you know, we don't actually, we don't have the tools to know how far or close he was to the reality of what it was like in the West Wing or what it, what it might have been like on uh, I, I, other places where he has said his dramas, particularly in the West Wing. I, I just think that he's hitting too close to the bone and we don't like him telling us how it is in our world. Well, personally, I don't mind that at all. And obviously, if he showed what journalists really did, which is sit at their desk and send email all day long, it wouldn't be much of a drama. Right. So I'll close by saying this. Uh, who cares what the journalists think and who cares what the critics think? The question is, will this find an audience uh, among HBO viewers? And if it does, then you'll be right, and I'll come back next week and tell you. That's right. fine. And one thing that HBO has succeeded in doing, and this will be my closing shot, is they succeeded in getting everybody talking about their show. And that's what they want. <laughs> no question about that. Hey, you want to talk about girls? See you later. <laughs> See you later, Howie. Thanks.
Thanks. Bye-bye.